This is a video response to Live On Air's Inappropriate Dreams video. I left a comment on that video and I really wanted to make a video response because I also have freaky dreams. Not the same kind of inappropriate dreams that Liv was talking about. No, 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 no. But a different kind of dream. Dreams which are predictive of the future. Premonitions. Taking you on an adventure into the unknown. Well, this video is going to be about that. Dreams that predict future events. And what they could mean and the explanation for them. In the movie Knowing with Nicolas Cage, the future of mankind is predicted through a sequence of numbers that relate to disasters which are yet to come. What if there was an ability that we didn't fully know about, which would allow us foresight of terrible events and which could be used to prevent loss of life? I've started recording my dreams on my Facebook page because for a long time I thought that I had the gift of premonition. But I wanted to try and make a time-stamped record to ensure that it wasn't just wishful thinking on my part. I find that when I dream about airplanes landing in strange places or crashing down, that not long after a plane will come down in real life. That's what I said when I posted the comment to Live On Air's video. Here's an example. On the 12th of April this year, I recorded the dream that a jet landed in my garden. On the 13th of April, a jet came down in the ocean in Bali. The most recent example was on the 18th of April. Hours before we were told about the bombers in Boston being brothers, I had a very distressing dream involving a school I'd never been to and a brother I do not have. Was my dream trying to give me clues as to the identity of the bombers? Because I think about this a lot, I actually came up with my own theory, which is that some events are so psychically charged with strong emotions that they send out waves which transcend linear time and can be picked up before they occur. However, I started to do some research into this, and I found an article by Richard Weissman, dated the 22nd of February 2011. The article discusses the work of the psychiatrist John Barker. He had a long-standing interest in the paranormal, and in the wake of the Aberfan disaster in 1966, he arranged through a newspaper to find out if anyone had foreseen the tragic events. He received 60 replies from people who all seemed to have had visions of what was to come. In fact, more recent surveys suggest that around a third of the population experienced this phenomenon at some point in their lives, so I'm not alone. It's a lot more common than you think. Abraham Lincoln had a premonition about assassination, and Charles Dickens and Mark Twain also reported dreaming about events that were yet to unfold. Is this all proof that we have the ability to see into the future? Scientific research offers an alternative explanation. The science of dreaming was pioneered by Eugene Azarinsky. He was the one who found out that dreaming occurs during the REM cycle of sleep. Since then, a lot more work has been done which reveals that we all dream a lot more than we know. Scientists have found that we have on average four dreams per night. We forget most of them and really only remember the gist of a dream if we're woken while it's happening. The exception occurs when unusual events in life trigger our memories of a dream after we've woken up. So, if we have a dream about a plane crash or something happening to a famous person, and then we hear news related to an aircraft or hear that person's name mentioned, we may recall details of the dream. In addition to this, because of the surreal nature of dreams, the content can be twisted to more closely resemble what actually transpired in real life. And provided that the person dreaming wants to believe that they are psychic, there's no limit to how closely they can alter what they actually dreamed to match reality. So all that's happening is that we're having dozens of dreams per week. Most of them are forgotten, but it only takes real life events that had some similarity to what we dreamed to act as triggers to help us recall dream fragments. And we then tell ourselves that we predicted the future, when in reality, it's just the laws of probability at work. Further evidence for this explanation is that premonitions are usually about disasters and negative events. It turns out that around 80% of our dreams are about negative events, so it's more likely that our memories of dreams will be triggered by those kind of events. All this is very well and good, I thought, but how about my situation, where I wrote down the dream and the bad things happened after I'd remembered it? Well, it turns out that science has a rational explanation about this too. Firstly, we tend to dream about the things that worry us. In my case, I've been worrying about having premonitions about plane crashes, and as a dyslexic person, I've always been anxious about school and exams. 
Perhaps I may have heard speculation that there were two people involved in the bombings, possibly brothers. This could have fed into my dreams and changed the content. The second explanation involves statistics. Imagine Brian, a random person living in Britain. Assume that Brian dreams each night of his life from age 15 to 75. There are 365 days in a year, so those 60 years of dreaming will ensure that Brian experiences 21,900 nights of dreams. Also assume that an event like the Aberfan disaster will only happen once in each generation and randomly assign it to any one day. Let's also assume that Brian will only remember dreaming about the type of terrible events associated with such a tragedy once in his entire life. The chances of Brian having this disaster dream the night before the actual tragedy is a massive 22,000 to 1. However, in the 1960s there were around 45 million people in Britain. And we would expect one person in every 22,000, given that number, or roughly 2,000, to have this amazing experience per generation. It's a principle known as the Law of Large Numbers, which states that unusual events are likely to happen when there are lots of opportunities for that event. Now, this example is only about people's dreams concerning the Abba Fan tragedy. In reality, national and international crises happen on a daily basis. Acts of terrorism, airplane crashes, volcano eruptions, assassinations, serial killers, earthquakes, tsunamis, kidnappings, etc. Given that people dream about doom and gloom more often than not, the numbers quickly stack up, making the chances of someone having a prophetic dream an inevitability. Still, I do seem to get rather a lot of these predictive dreams. Maybe rather too many to explain in terms of statistics alone. So I think I'll continue to record the dreams that I remember because I still think that I have dreams that are really imaginative. But I'll try and be more detailed in my recollection. I'm not so ready to accept that my dreams are visions of the future. But if I do ever have a feeling that a dream is trying to tell me something, I will tell people. I'd be really interested if you could tell me whether or not you're experiencing anything like this. Let's stay in touch. Subscribe to my channel and keep this video in your favourites. Come back and tell me if you have any dreams of doom and gloom. Or maybe you've had a dream predicting something good that you think might come true. Are you persuaded by the science, or do you still think that there's something unexplained at work? I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Many thanks for watching, and see you soon on my YouTube channel. Bye for now.